All right, this tutorial is about how to sync all your information from the desktop version of Home Inspector Pro, that's the Windows and Mac version, over to the mobile version, which is iPhone, iPad, Android, and uh, some Chromebooks now as well, and then how to move that data back. Um, I have the desktop version open here. It's open to the client information page. The first thing you need to do, and the most important, go up to Internet, click on HIP login information and you need to make sure that your username and password is entered in here. This is the username and password that you use to create your cloud account on our website. Uh, if you've downloaded the trial and you don't have an account yet you can uh, go to the pricing page on our website and sign up for the the cloud trial. Uh, otherwise if you've already purchased the software then this would be the username and password you used when you did that as well. So make sure that's in there, make sure it's correct. If you're not sure about the information, you can go double check it by logging into our website. You can also click the forgot password uh, link on the top right of our website if you uh, have forgotten the information as well. All right, so let's assume that's all correct. We're gonna go to the mobile sync tab. The mobile sync tab has three areas. The top left here is to upload a template to the cloud. On the right hand side here we have to download an inspection that's already been completed on mobile and sent to the cloud, that's to download it back to the computer. And then the button down here allows us to view the templates we've already, um, already uploaded to the cloud and clean them up if we need to delete any, you know, stuff like that. So first what we want to do is upload a template to the cloud. So I'm going to click on upload template and the file browser automatically opens to all the templates on our version of Home Inspector Pro. I'm going to select the template I want to install and click on it. And it's going to upload that template to the cloud. Upload successful. So now I can download that template to my mobile device. Now notice there's pop-ups throughout the program that actually explain all the steps on how to do things. So I'm going to open up my portal here to mobile. And Here's the, uh, the mobile version of the software now. Notice I'm on the sync tab up here. And the exact same name and password is entered in here. And I'm going to click on login just to confirm that I'm logged in. And now down here where it says download template from cloud, here's all the templates that I've uploaded in the past. And I have a lot in here because obviously I'm, I'm helping people out a lot. I'm going to select the default template and I'm going to download that template now to this device. And it's telling me I already have a copy on this device. So basically I'm now going to update it with the most current version that I've uploaded to the cloud. So I'm going to click on yes. And that template has been successfully downloaded directly to this device. So I can click OK. Once a template is on the device, I can start as many inspections as I want directly from the device by clicking on the Manage tab along the top. So I'm going to click on Manage. I have a list of all the templates that I've downloaded and I can click this button right here to view those templates. And I can select any of those templates including the one I just downloaded to type in an inspection name and click on Create. Now once I've actually worked on an inspection, notice at all times it shows you what inspection you have already open here and here's the one I was testing out earlier. Back on the Sync tab, I can click on Upload on the very bottom, which is right here. So I can click on Upload, and I can select any inspection that I've worked on so far. And this will upload that inspection from my mobile device to the cloud. And the cloud is just a fancy word for a bunch of servers uh, on the internet. In our case, we use Amazon servers for our cloud. So I've uploaded that inspection directly to the cloud. Now, back on our desktop, I can click on Download Inspections. And here's a list of all the inspections that I have uploaded to the cloud. And now I can download to my local machine. And all I need to do, here's the inspection that I, that I had on my device. I can click on Download. I can save this. Now it's going to save that inspection to my local computer. Depending on your file size and the number of photos that you've taken and your internet speed, 
This can take anywhere from a few seconds to a minute to download to your local machine. Home Inspector Pro reminds you of where that file is saved. And it's going to go to your client data folder by default. Notice the HZF, that's the Home Inspector Pro file type. Uh, by the way, on that screen, I can also delete files on the cloud. So once you've sent your inspection out to your clients and you don't need it anymore, we recommend that you actually delete those files from the cloud. Just keeps everything more organized. Now that I've downloaded that inspection, I can open and I can grab that file I downloaded from the cloud and I can open up that inspection. Once that inspection's open, it's going to go to my client info screen. And any information that we had done on that inspection is going to show up here. In this case, this was just a demo inspection. I was messing around with at a conference, so there's just a few photographs that are in here. Direct over from mobile. If you have any questions on this process, feel free to ask us at help at homeinspectorpro.com or just click on help desk on the top of our website. Hopefully this uh, explains to you the process of sending templates from your desktop to mobile and then the process of sending inspections back from mobile to your desktop.